the plastic's welder arrived, so let's take a look at what's in this box, what all it came with. So here's a plastics welder kit. We have some welding rod, some tips for the heater. Let's see, we have this fairly large heater unit. It's a big, it's a big tool. A lot bigger than it looks like in the pictures. Hopefully that means it's fairly durable. So we have an on-off switch. It's a heater temp controller on the back. 1500 watts, 14 amps, feels pretty heavy duty. There's an instruction manual inside of here. So you press the power switch, you turn the temperature, you have to wait three minutes for it to heat up. Uh, switching it off, turn the temperature back to zero, let it cool for five minutes, shut off the power switch, pull the plug. You can change the heating element. It comes with a replacement heating element. I wonder how long these heating elements last. It looks like a ceramic cartridge style heater element with a bunch of coils in there. And I'm assuming it just blows the air through that ceramic. That's good that it comes with a backup. I hope that it lasts a while. So it probably is important that you use a proper shutdown because what this does is you turn the temperature knob to zero so the heater turns off but the fan is gonna keep blowing as long as the power switch is on. So you don't wanna just cut the power to the heater off and the element is still hot and it's gonna damage itself because there's no airflow through it. So you need to let the element cool down. That's what this, that's what this uh, switching off procedure is. So I'm gonna be using the HDP rods and this looks like it's probably HDP this looks like it's, what is it, PVC, I think, was the other one. So this looks like the HDP rods here. Got a roller here, probably for rolling the, the plastic down when it's hot. There's a few different nozzles that it came with and some screws. So we have the screws to hold the nozzles on. And this nozzle is going to be used with these tips here. I guess you just shove that on there. Maybe you pinch this a little bit to get it to stay on better. Yeah, it looks like they're talking about using pliers, so you pinch down on it to get it to kind of stay on better there because it's loose right now. This one's a little bit tighter. Depends on the position of it. These have different shapes in here. Not sure what the different shapes are for. It's got a different output. Um, it doesn't talk about the different tools in here and what they're meant to be used for. Probably gonna take a little bit of experimentation. But the idea is that you would push this rod through here and it would melt as it got here and be the shoe would, would push it down like into a space like if you're welding two panels together or something. This one would do something similar. Okay, let's check out how it works.